unlucky with the, the injuries you've got and John Jones was suspended as well. It's life and there's no point in crying about it. I'm more concerned that the opening period of the season that we don't we haven't had any rub of the green whatsoever from officials. You know, I rang Mike Riley this morning and I always say my team's out to be sporting, uh, to try and respect everything that we have about the game and you know, ask players not to dive and and stay on their feet. But um I think that's the thing that I'll, I'll certainly be looking for over the next numbers of weeks is a wee bit of good fortune in terms of some of the decisions that we've got. So uh, I said the players have been outstanding in their work, but us being a sporting team and and going by the, the letters of the law and, and the rules, we uh, it just seems to pass us by in terms of decisions. You know, we've had a, a few sendings off, a few penalties given against us and absolutely nothing that we've been given at all. So I hope that changes. Um, injuries and whatnot, you you normally can't uh, can control those sorts of things, you know. So, uh, but certainly decisions we would hope we would get better decisions over the next coming weeks. What did you say to Mike Riley then? What kind of feedback did you get? I think Mike was actually expecting me to call him a bit earlier. I'm I'm not one like I said that it's just become quite obvious, especially after last night's game. You know, we had. Uh, Jordan Henderson had a horrendous challenge in the game last night and the player wasn't even booked. And uh, one of my young players, Andre Wisdom, made a really good tackle uh, and uh, won the ball and got booked for it. And there's been a number of instances, but I just said to Mike, it's about, we have to be careful that we, d that we don't discourage people and players that are trying to respect the game. Because it, uh, as I said, for us, it's how we work, it's how I ask the players to play. You know, we want to win the game, but we want to win it by fair means. Um, to me, anyway, in, these, in this opening period of the season, that hasn't worked for us. It hasn't worked, and I think, as I said, we just need to be careful that, that by diving onto the floor and going down, it, doesn't mean, it means that you may get the decision, whereas if you try and stay on your feet, you may not. And so we need to be careful with that. And like as I said, that was the point I was making to him. Was the crux of the matter then seeing Valencia get a penalty for United and Luis Suarez not getting one at the other end? And also uh, the, the challenge that John Joe put in for the sending off and, and the challenge that, that uh, Johnny Evans also put in, like, mm. not him at the same time. Yeah. It hasn't just been that game, I've got to be honest. There's been, it's, as I said, I think Mike expected me to ring him before the Manchester United game because he's seen a lot of the decisions actually had gone against us. But I didn't. I waited to see a trend. And I didn't even speak to him after the Manchester United game. I'm still waiting for the assessor to call me. Normally we would get called after the games, but I still haven't received a call yet. But, um, but it was more, especially after last night as well. Um, it's just something that I feel that is important that going forward that we're not targeted and Lexus Suarez and you know, he's had a couple of good penalty appeals. He hasn't dived. They've been legitimate uh, where it looks like he, we could have got a penalty. And we we've, haven't even looked. He's actually got booked, Luis Suarez. So um, so that was my point to Mike. And, and hopefully that will, will change because, as I said, it would be a shame that players that are trying to respect the rules and, uh, and the managers who's asking players to stay on their feet and not dive aren't getting the decisions because of it. Is that... Reputation preceding him with Luis Suarez, do you think? What reputation is that? It's been, he's been criticised in the past for going to ground too easily. Is that affecting him now, do you think? I'm not sure. You'd need to ask the referees. I think he's, he's a player. As I said, he's a wonderful talent. He's a wonderful player. I think it's a respect of if, if he goes down and it's, it's a penalty, it's a penalty. So um, I'm not sure what the reputation that that the referees would have for him, you know, but uh, but certainly what I've seen so far, he he doesn't ever look like he's going to get a decision, you know, and that's something that would bother me going forward. How do you strike that balance as well, Brendan? Because we've seen players this season try and keep their feet in the box and not get a decision. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying, and that was my point to to Mike. You know, I think it's important that referees understand that. As I said, it's in the game you get lots of real honest players and and terrific players and. 
if by going down it gets them a decision, then ultimately players will do that. You know, but we don't want that. That's what we don't want in the game. That's been the, the criticism over the last few years of players maybe going uh, going down too easy and and getting fouls or penalties uh, their way. So it's not something that we want to encourage. But but if you're not going to get the decisions because of it, then the players may do that.